attitude and culture. But before that, I had had to one of the best Indian restaurants I had ever been to. It's inside of a Vishnava temple. It's right off of I-30. And once you find it, you're not going to want to leave. Welcome to College Ingenious, an iconic institution where loyal guests have been coming for 40 some years. This restaurant, connected to a Vaishnava temple, serves up some of the most authentic vegetarian Indian cuisine you'll ever find. The food goes into your body, and this body has to get proper nourishment. And if the food is not cooked with the right mood, consciousness is very important when you're cooking food. Mm. You have to be in the right mood, right consciousness. Every dish here is actually blessed by the men and women who make it. And if that doesn't bring bliss to your lunch break, their courtyard paradise certainly will. You know, people, when they go for a massage, they have some water sounds, they have some the, 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 ship, the sea moving sounds of the waves. But that's the feeling you get. You get a very relaxed feeling when you hear the sound of the water. This really is the kind of place that makes you feel at peace. The food is so good, but it's also the setting. You just want to put your phone away, sit, take it all in, or talk with a friend. It is a happy place. The tree, the babbling water, the open air, the feeling of peace and solitude, it's all right here. And one of the most peaceful patios in DFW, College Inges, is your spot. By the way, College Inges is making a free vegetarian feast for the festival mm -hmm. for our visitors Saturday at Clyde Park. I'm telling you, Jane, it was so good. <laughs> but the event is so much more than food. There are so many interactive opportunities, such as sorry rapping. Gopi Gita Shomakar is here to show and tell us more about that. Good morning. It's so nice to see you again. I saw you a few years back. We have two models this morning, right? One is getting wrapped right now. Can you talk about that process and those gorgeous saris they have on? Yes, so thank you, Jane and Hannah. What's happening right now is six yards of fabric are being wrapped on this model. The way the sari is draped enhances the femininity of a woman. And every single drape can kind of tell you the region of India that a model is from. It's absolutely beautiful. And I know this takes a while. We're actually going to check in to see the final product in just a second. But speaking of these saris, can you tell me about some of the cloth that we see here and maybe the history behind them, the stories that they tell? Sure. So every single one is from a different region of India. We've got Banarasi silk, we've got Orissa, we've got from North Bengal and South India. Every single um, weave and thread, Hannah, is made with conscious intention. And so when you put that sari on, you literally feel like you're being wrapped with love. They are so beautiful. Everything is. So you've got the sari wrapping, you have wonderful food. What else can people expect if they go to the festival Saturday? We've got 300 volunteers right now getting ready to perform a Herculean task of inviting and um, accepting, uh, welcoming all of you here with us. We've got entertainment, live international entertainment coming from India. They're flying in right now. We have um, uh, arts activities, as you can see on my face, we've got Gopi Dots and Henna um, painting on the hands for guys and girls, and so there's a ton of stuff happening. There really is so much. You know, we were talking before the show about the idea of consciousness and being intentional. You're saying when these saris are created, there's that consciousness. When I was speaking to the chefs at the restaurant, they were talking about really consciously putting love in. Why yes. is that so important to this festival? This festival actually kind of commemorates the journey of a king, the Lord Jagannath, and he's been away from his family for like decades. He's, this is the reunion of him coming home to his family. So the parade that starts the festival off, you literally pull the parade, like you're pulling him home to your hearts. So are there things for like, if you bring the whole family? Yes. Kids to experience? Absolutely. We've got a mystical forest, interactive, dramatic experience for the kids. It kind of goes into that reunion, reconnecting theme. And we've got all kinds of little crafts and children's activities, the whole, the whole festivals for families. And there's a focus on wellness and spirituality. And that's kind of, that's very, very popular these days. A yes. lot of people who would never have thought about that are thinking about it. Um, yes. Yeah, so what is there for people who may be new to that? So yoga is, you know, become a, you know, a very common word in the dictionary even now. Yoga originated in India. You'll get mindfulness, meditation. You'll get to connect with yourself and, and as you were saying, like stop your usual stressful um, activities and just focusing on what is it that you want. Who is it? Who is it that you are? 
We've got chair time, mantra meditation, and all kinds of uh, information for that. Oh, I can use that every day. This sounds beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me real quickly, I'm wearing what, what I'm wearing right here and the story behind this? So that's a jasmine flower. Mm -hmm. And a jasmine, for any of you who have had star jasmine in my, in my backyard, and the flavor and the fragrance of jasmine spreads everywhere. So even the flowers that we use, they have to have fragrance. And so this kind of like helps you be fragrant. It's so okay. beautiful. Let's take one final look at the completed sari wrapping. Is it done? Yes, she's oh, all set. She's ready to so go. Beautiful. Six, Six yards, a thousand Six percent. Six yards, yeah. That's a pretty incredible. Thank you so much. I, I really enjoy this so much. I want to know what's your one intention? What do you hope comes out? of this festival? Um, you know, this pandemic kind of has been hard on everybody, and it's been three years for all of us to reconnect with each other and celebrate and party, and I'm hoping we can all just get together and spiritually, mindfully connect with each other and have such a blast that when they go home and all of you who come and visit us go home, you're really feeling that. Speaking of which, if you want to continue the festival, you can go back to Kalachinji Community, located in Lakewood. We've got yoga and arts activities and the school, the restaurant, and you can continue that festival of joy every single day of the year. I love that. I love that. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So the Festival of Joy is Saturday from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. at Clyde Warren Park in Dallas. The event is free. You gotta love that. You can find out more 